Checking down here at Detroit with team number 33, the Killer Bees. I'm here with David, Arjun, and Lorena. And what an incredible machine they have. We're going to show off some really cool features here on Behind the Bumpers. Lorena, we're going to start with you. you got an absolute beast of an intake here. So let's talk about this hatch intake mechanism. Yeah, so here we have our hatch collector. And we did a lot of prototyping on this. And what's really cool about this is that we have a half moon here, which exposes the diameter of the bay. Um, we CNC these parts, and we 3D printed these. And we have these rollers, so it's basically impossible to like miss the alignment. And we also have this gimbal in the back, and we have a shock absorber. So it's really great that we have this because it just allows us to place hatches on the rocket really easily. Yeah, and it's been very effective and impactful throughout your competition, so really cool to see uh, with that as well. And we're going to move on over here uh, and talk about some of the drive uh, that is on this robot. And this, I mean, everything is a beast on this robot. It's really true. Uh, but let's talk about the drive a little bit as well. Here we have half of our drivetrain. It's a two-neo gearbox cut geared to about 13 feet per second. We have a two-traction for Omni. So this gives us high mobility, high torque, and high acceleration to help me get around defense and be able to still push against other robots. And we got some cool stuff to show up here, so we're going to scoot on back here, and we're going to talk about some of the software with Arjun uh, on this machine. Uh, so Arjun, tell us about some of the sensors, components, and how it's impacting your robot. So uh, on the Killer Bees, we love to automate a lot of our movements just for easy operator interface. So there are about three or four actuations that can be controlled at the same time with just one press of a button. But since we have a double-sided robot this year, it's very easy to get into a complex like crashes with the robot if it tries to flip uh, too early. So you do a lot of motion profiling and path planning to find the quickest and most effective path to reach its final destination. So we can demonstrate that a little bit here. Yeah, let's take a look. Uh, enabling. So I'm going to go up to my middle height first, going down to bald sock. I'm going to go up to middle again and flip the wrist. I'm going to go up to high. Now I'm going to go all the way down to bald suck. So we got to find the most effective path and the safest path in order to get to where we want. So. Well, an absolutely incredible machine here with 33 to Killer Bees. I can't wait to see how we end up the rest of the competition. Good luck. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.